Hello, Professor Toybox here along with Hero, and today I'm going to start showing you how to build Tomorrowland, which is the area of Disneyland that I showed you last time. Before we can do that, <laughs> I need to add a new toy box to our save file and set up a door to take us there. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to begin by dropping down a trigger area, and I'm going to stretch this thing across the uh, entire toy box here. We'll drop this down, let's say about here. And the left edge of this is lined up with the monorail up there. So we're going to raise this up a little ways just in case some player wants to try to fly through it. And then we'll stretch this all the way across so it doesn't matter where the player crosses that boundary. That trigger area will take them there. And then we're going to need a toy box door, so I'm going to come down underneath the terrain. And we'll go ahead and put our toy box door down here. And we'll open up the properties for it. For the destination, we're going to create a new toy box. We're going to create an empty toy box. And for the name of it, I'm going to call it Tomorrowland. And I'm typing that in on my Wii U panel here. Here we go. And we'll save it. And that's linking the door. And now that door will take us there. And then we'll hook up the trigger area to that. So we'll open the logic menu, do a new logic connection when entered by player any. Come down to our toy box door and change the level. So there we go. Now we can walk through here and that'll take us to a new toy box for Tomorrowland. Before I enter that trigger area though and invoke the toy box door, I'm going to save my game. So I'll do that offline, and when I'm done, I'll walk through that trigger area, and I'll meet you in our new toy box. Okay, here we are in Tomorrowland, and to save time, I've already placed my Danville Sky Power Disc down on the Disney Infinity Base, as you can see, and I've placed a boom box so I can turn off the music. So now we can start building, and the first thing we want to do is just notice the orientation of the toy box. And we come in facing this direction. And I think I'm going to leave it facing this direction. So we're going to build off in that, that direction there. So let's go ahead and set the uh, terrain theme here first. I'll use the toy box terrain. I'll set that to be my theme. And then I'm going to drop a second piece of terrain like that. And let me pull up my screen grabs here. Okay. Alright, so we have two big pieces of terrain to start with for the entrance. And the first thing I want to do is build a mirror image or a copy of the entrance to Tomorrowland that we built in Main Street, USA. And so as we begin, I'm going to start with the blocks from the blocks drawer. <laughs> and I need this large floor. We're going to put this in this corner. Like that. And I'm going to set the theme on this block. We're going to use the grass texture. I'm going to set the theme. And I'm going to place two of these down like that. Okay. And then as we come over here, I'll place one down as a spacer. We're going to drop another one there and I'll delete this one. And then we'll place two more here. Like that. And then up under Building Sets Group 3, we have these... Uh, Main Street USA buildings. 
And these are the same buildings that had the brick front that we were using before. So we'll go ahead and uh, drop down three of these like that. And then we'll come back down to the blocks drawer and put in the monorail. And we have this trim piece. And I'll start uh, by placing this first one two blocks up like this. And we'll set the theme on this. If I scroll over to the left, I'm looking for the Plastic 2 theme. I'll set that to be my theme. And just to make sure I've got the height right on this, let's go up to Building Sets Group 2 to the Tomorrowland buildings. And these are unlocked when you have those uh, power disks. And yeah, that fits right under there. So this is a two block high uh, block. So we're going to place this underneath like that. And we'll flip one around there. We'll do the same thing over here. It's as close as I can get it without overlapping. All right, and then we'll build the monorail mock-up like we had in the uh, Main Street USA toy box. Like that. Flip it around. We'll put another row on this side. And this just kind of provides some consistency and uh, point of reference with the entrance that we had uh, from Main Street USA. So kind of provides some semblance of uh, consistency there. When you see this in this toy box, you know that's where you came from. And I'm going to drop this piece like this because when we style it for the Tomorrowland pieces, it's actually going to feel like it's rotated. And the same thing with this one. So we'll put those just like that. And uh, then I think the next piece before we put this one in, let's go back up to Building Sets Group 2. And I'm looking for... Uh, we'll use the shorter of the two buildings here. So I'm going to rotate this like this. And find my screen grab here. Make sure I got this in the right place. <laughs> of course, I'm not seeing it now. Oh, there it is. All right. So I want this to sit out like that. And we're going to put this about like that, I think. And I may tweak this in a minute. And then we're going to bring it over here and flip it around. And this one is going to sit right there, like that. Okay, so there are the two buildings. The entrance is kind of centered. And we'll go ahead and pick up the start pad now and move this back over here. So we're kind of centered between those two. And we're going to put this right here. Uh, just like that. And just so you can kind of see where that's placed, just look at the uh, texture on the terrain block below. That should give you what you need to know. All right. So there is the uh, entrance so far that we have. Now let's go back down to the terrain drawer and fit in the uh, terrain around this. Because there's a couple of terrain blocks I want to place in here. So this first one is going to sit like this and it's going to sit back half a block like that. And I want to make sure I got this correct. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're going to set that in there like that. And I'm going to set the theme on this. Uh, actually, before I do that, I need my Tomorrowland power disk. So let me come out over here. Get out of the editor. All right, I'll put that disk down. Want to switch the entire world? No. And now we can come back into spark mode. Come over and select this. And we're going to use the Tomorrowland theme. And I'll set that to be the theme. Okay, so there we go. We've got that. All right, and then we have a couple of, uh, about four trees we need to put in here. So we'll use these large fantasy land terrain trees. And I want to make sure I get the orientation of these correct. So this one is going to sit out like this. The next one is going to sit across the way, about like that, with the little sprig pointing out that direction. So that's how that one's going to sit. And then the next one is going to sit over on this side, out a little bit. So about like that, and with the sprig facing this way. So that's where we'll put this one. And then we need one more across the way over here. And this one is going to sit with the little sprig. Uh, actually, it's the same way. So yeah, right like that. All right. And eventually, those will get styled to be the... Uh, Briar Ridge theme, but we're going to leave them like that for right now until we get some more of the uh, entrance built. Uh, for these, though, we can go ahead and style these. So these are going to be the Tomorrowland Terrain Corner 1, and you'll see when I apply that, <laughs> looks like it rotated it. So the orientation of the piece, unlike every other style, isn't lined up with the angle of the... Uh, piece there. But anyway, there we go. We've got our entrance from uh, the other toy box. And now we can continue building out in the direction we want to go. And so we'll start over here off of this block. And we're going to go back to building sets group two. And we're going to begin with, uh, is it this piece? No, it's, a, it's the other piece, window column. And I want this lined up this way, so it's halfway along that uh, other block that we put in. So we'll do that. And then back down to the terrain category. And this tall terrain block, we're going to put this over here. We're going to raise this up one block like that. Okay, oops, and then back to building sets group two. We'll put down another one of these over here. And you can see that terrain block is lined up with the back edge of the building. We're going to put down three of these. So one, two, three, like that. All right. Back down to the blocks drawer now. And <laughs> reset that drawer on me. If we go back to the left. I'm looking for the small floor. And again, we're styled using that plastic too. And this has to sit uh, up like that. So on that level. All right, and we're going to put a row of these along the front of the building. Like that. And another row. So it's going to be two wide. This will be the terrace 
or balcony area here. Oops. Like that. And then off the end of this, we'll go ahead and put in another two out this way. And one more row around the corner like that. All right. And then across the way, we want to do nine of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, make this two wide. Okay. And then we're going to do uh, three more. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And at this point, we're going to head down the other side of the uh, corridor here. So for this, uh, probably going to be easiest to kind of mirror what we're doing over there. So that way we can kind of see where to stop. So when we're directly across from the one on the other side, which is right there. And then one more row of these. So like that. And then we can go back up to building sets group two and put these in on the other side. So this is going to sit down here, lined up in the corner, and make sure it's on the floor of the block there, because it's not highlighting that block. And you're going to need three of these. And mirroring what we have on the other side, we need this terrain block. So line that up with the back edge, raise it up one. Oops, trying to get back to building sets group two. And then we're going to go right across the way like that, but this time we're going to put in this piece like that. All right, and then put the cap on. We're going to do that on all of these. So like that. Do the same thing over here. Like so. And you want to make sure that it lines up with the piece underneath, and it does. Because otherwise, if it's rotated, that little groove there won't be lined up. All right, so there is the buildings on either side of the entrance and the walkway. Now we need some supports underneath to hold those up. And so let's go back to the blocks drawer. And under here, we are looking for, first of all, this balcony piece. We'll start with that. And we're going to place one right underneath that piece like so. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, and drop another one. One, two, three, four, and drop another one. Flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, and on the end. And then we'll need one more over here, facing that way. And one on each end. Okay, so those are the supports from the inside. And if we scroll a little further to the left, we have this vertical ramp. We're going to use that for the support on the outside. Didn't quite have the uh, pieces that I wanted to use for the support, so this is about the closest 
I could get with the blocks that we have to work with. The actual supports are a little thinner, but that will do. Okay, and then on this side we can go ahead and put in some stairs. So we'll put some there, put some on the opposite side. Like that. And then a couple of blocks underneath. Alright. That's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and pick up one of these little blocks here. And we'll go to the next size larger. And I'm going to line this up like you see there. We're going to bring this up to the top of the building. Okay. So that's how it's lined up. And we're going to put kind of a canopy over top of this. And we'll do the same on the other side. There's kind of a ceiling there. Okay. And then we'll go down to the plants drawer. We have this Fantasy Terrain 1. And that's not going to sit quite like I want it. So let's go ahead and uh, style this. This is going to be the Tomorrowland Terrain 1. I'll set that to be the theme. And then we'll move this down and put it in place. And this will provide the railing that we need along here. And it's exactly three blocks wide, which is why I counted all those blocks for the uh, balcony out the way I did. So we won't have the uh, railing hanging off the end. There we go. So that puts a nice decorative railing on that. And then Fantasy Terrain 5. We're going to put these down right here. And I'm going to style this to be the Tomorrowland Terrain 4. I'll set that to be my theme. I'm going to pick that up because you notice the base of that is angled. So I'm going to rotate that like this. And then we'll flip it around. Put this on the other side as well. Add some much needed color. Okay. And then for Fantasy Terrain 3, we're going to put this right in the middle of the walkway with that left edge there lined up with the left edge of the support. So we'll place that there and we'll style this to be Tomorrowland Terrain 3. I'll set that to be the theme. And I want this rotated like that. And then I think it's Terrain Strip 2 that we want. We're going to center this on there. And if we style this, I believe, nope, that's the Tomorrowland terrain strip with the trees. So let's cancel. I'm going to delete that one. What we want is terrain strip one. There we go. So we put that in like that. And I'll pick that piece up and put it down and we'll put another one in over on this side. That puts a nice little divider there in the middle. 
which I like. And for this, we're going to put, uh, let's see, I'm going to put one of these in here like this, and I'm going to go ahead and style it. So we'll set that to be the theme, and that was the right orientation. Cool. All right, so that goes like that. And then, I see here, I don't think there's one on the other side. No. Okay, so that sits in there like that. And for the other side, this is the entrance for Buzz Lightyear's ride. And you'll need the Toy Story in Space playset for this, but under the Buildings category, I think it's fastest to go left. We're looking for the Combat Simulator. And we're going to back this up right up against the building. And right over here, let's see, I think, I think it's got to go, yeah, it's got to be centered on there. So like that. So that looks pretty good. So that's taking shape nicely. All right, I think that's everything for today. Next time, I'll add Space Mountain and the restaurants. And uh, yeah, that looks really good. Until next time, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my video today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you like what I'm doing in Disney Infinity, just click my photo in the lower right corner of the video. That's all for me today. Take care.